What is up guys, Zanitech here back again for another video. If you saw my last video last week, I did an unboxing and a review of the 2017 Fire HD tablet 8 inch from Amazon. And one of the things that I really like is just they upgraded the GPU, but the only gripe that I have about, actually there's two things. One, not having a gyroscope, and two, it's because of the special offer version that they have for $74.99 that you have ads on your lock screen. And for me, that's one of my biggest gripes because one, I bought it, and two, if you bought it, it's your own device. So basically, you get to do whatever you want with it because it's your device, your rules. So in the famous words of Eric Cartman, I do what I want. So with hours of research, I was able to find a way for you to be able to get rid of the ads on your lock screen without having to unsubscribe from those special offers in which Amazon is going to have to charge you $15. And for me, like I said from the last video, that's a lot of money. I mean, that's like almost two months worth of Hulu or Netflix, that's like 130 miles worth of gas, two medium pizzas, and probably like six bottles of muscle milk. So $15 can go a really long way. So if you guys haven't seen that unboxing video that I have last week, make sure to click it up here. So if you guys haven't already done so, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down on my channel for more videos. And if I can get a like, that'll be awesome. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to remove ads on your lock screen without having to pay $15. So let's get started. Alright, there's going to be two things that you need to download before you get started. First, you're going to have to download the Amazon USB drivers, which is going to be found on their website. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below for your convenience. And it's going to be in a zip file, so make sure you already have an extractor tool on hand once you download it. And make sure you extract it in a location that you would normally, that it would be easy for you to find. So most likely it's going to be in the desktop. And second of all, you're going to have to download the ADB installer which will be located in this website and XDA developers this is a really good forum where people who know Android anything Android and this is the major go-to website for major developers and enthusiasts like me so make sure you download the ADB installer in this website and also the links gonna be in the description down below so once both of them are installed in your system then you should be good to go Alright fellas, first step we're going to have to enable developer options. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to go to settings, device options. Then if you scroll on the very bottom of that page, you'll see the serial number. So keep tapping that about five or six times. Can't remember how many times. And after that, congratulations, you are now the developer. And all we have to do is tap developer options. And next step, we're going to have to enable ADB debugging. So just scroll through until it says ADB, enable ADB debugging, and hit enable. Now this option help your computer communicate with your tablet via command prompt. So once we're done, we're going to have to install Amazon USB drivers, the, the one that we just downloaded. If you haven't already done so, the download link is in the description down below. Since I already installed mine, so I just click yes, and then hit install. And while it's installing, there's going to be another window pop-up. So let me just drag this right here on the center. Click Next. And you should have a message that says Ready to Use. And once you see that, click Finish. Click Close. Close this window. And next up, we're going to have to install ADB Installer. So uh, if I'm going too fast, guys, there's always the Pause button. So make sure you hit the Pause button. So for this next step, all we have to do is type Y for yes and hit enter. Install ADB system wide, yes, enter. Installing ADB and fastboot. So we'll just have to wait until everything is copied. So there's four files copied. Do you want to install device drivers? Click yes or press Y, then enter. And it should be installing. And there's going to be another pop-up. So what are you going to have to do? Click next and ready to use so click finish close this window and next up we're gonna have to connect your fire hd tablet to your computer like so just 
connected via micro USB and we're gonna have to go to your desktop and go to command prompt so that's one of the things that you're gonna have to do to be able to communicate with your tablet so for this step you're gonna have to type ADB space shell so don't be alarmed if you're gonna have a message that says unauthorized so what you're gonna have to do is go to your go back to your tablet and you're gonna have to allow it by clicking that box and hit OK and we're gonna have to redo it again so we type in ADB space shell hit enter so it says shell with a dollar sign Douglas that means you're connected so what we're gonna have to do is type PM space clear space com dot Amazon dot Kindle dot KSO press enter and it should say success and next up we're gonna have to type PM space hide space com dot Amazon dot Kindle dot KSO press enter and that's all you need to do guys so we're gonna have to exit ADB by typing exit enter and we're gonna have to reboot by typing in ADB space reboot hit enter and as you can see your fire HD tablet is on a reboot stage so let's go ahead and wait for it to boot up Alright, so now we have successfully removed the special offers on your lock screen so you can actually now see the wallpapers. And for this one, just a reminder, this only removes the special offers on your lock screen. It doesn't have that option yet where you can actually put custom wallpapers yet. And I promise you, as soon as I figure it out, I'll be able to put up another video about it on how to do it and make another tutorial video about it. And as you can see, there's no more lock screen ads, and I'm very satisfied with my results, and I hope this video helps you out as well. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave it on the comment section down below. Any suggestions or ideas would be great. And once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.